<laughs> London College of Fashion. Quite <laughs> well, pretty looking. Ooh, he, he knows the scent. <laughs> hey guys, it's Jay from London, and this is Chelsea Scents. And I'm Jay from London. And I'm Mira. <laughs> Also, if you could uh, tell us about yourself for our viewers. Hi guys, I am Mira. I just recently graduated from London College of Fashion, studying bag and accessories design. I am a good friend of Jay, and I'm really excited to do this video with him. So today uh, I brought her, and she will be introducing to us her the perfume she uses and mm -hmm. two other perfume you want to recommend? Yes, exactly. So recently I just finished an internship working at Chanel and as soon as I started the job, they were very I was very lucky to receive this perfume, which is the number five Eau de Toilette. Um, so I've never really used Chanel perfumes before, but it was actually like a very good surprise to me because I also had this like thought that this was quite an old, perfume scent if you get what I mean a bit like, mature mature yeah I don't like for the age groups it'll be more like 40s 50s however this one Eau de Toilette has a really like light scent it's much more watered down and it's got a bit of hint of like vanilla so I did use to use this like a day-to-day -day basis Mm -hmm. So you could use this to a day to day basis <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> but what uh season would you recommend this perfume oh this one i would probably recommend like autumn because it is quite musk quite powdery but um you could also use it in the summer as well because if you want like a little bit of contrast with the weather mm. you know that could kind of make people like look back towards you be like oh this is smell so mm -hmm. so it's a feminine scent but do you think it can lean towards being unisex or is it just fully feminine I mean, in the world we're living in right now, I would definitely say unisex. Unisex? Oh, yeah. so you could imagine, say, by the way, she has a boyfriend. <laughs> if your boyfriend's wearing this, yeah. you, do you think it will suit him? Well, my, my boyfriend has a feminine side, doesn't he? He's, oh. quite, he's quite pretty looking, <laughs> oh, so maybe it will suit him. Yeah, maybe. But, um, I don't know, maybe it's because I like contrast. I like that oh. juxtaposition in people. Oh, fair enough. If like a manly guy yeah. uses this, I'll be like, oh, he, he knows his scent. <laughs> yeah. So what kind of, was it a uh, female or male do you think will wear this? Like, what do you think their outfit will be? Or like, mm -hmm. what kind of like mm -hmm. personality would suit this? So the first thing that just popped up to my mind was probably Chanel's LVD, Little Back Dress. Obviously they were very popular for that in the 1920s first company first brand to ever make that style um so that, that chic all black a bit classy like, yes yeah, stilettos but even so like suits women's suits oh, i think that'd be very sexy that kind of girl crush but classy elegant exactly exactly with a bit of a hint of like a pearl necklace oh that's that's exactly. really good she she mm -hmm. went to lcf guys no actually where did you go <laughs> i did go LCF. oh she went I lcf did. and st martin's as well i did i went to two universities she went to two good universities for me <laughs> and there's another uh, chanel perfume she would like to recommend to you guys and which mm -hmm. one is it and it's definitely most definitely this one this one after working six months at chanel they also gifted me this one as you can see i might is... have to work at chanel for the perfume yeah exactly it's very good because this one was when you go to chanel basically you have a line of perfumes that we can use oh. in the toilets yes there's so many and I would definitely say I use this one the most. Mm. This, so what does it smell like? This is very, it's got jasmine hints. It's very like musk as well, autumnus, but it has like a really nice hint of floral. I'm not really a floral person. Yeah. I'm more into like citrus, which I am going to talk about later. But this one just like took my heart straight away. So you don't like floral, but mm -hmm. say like, obviously some of the viewers might not like floral mm -hmm. either. So, say you don't like floral because you didn't like floral, but you actually like this yeah. perfume, which is floral. Yeah. To the viewers who don't like floral, mm -hmm. do you think they'll enjoy this or it, does it depend on like... Oh, I'm going to say they're definitely going to enjoy it because it's a hint of floral. Oh. It's not too strong. It's not like, oh my God, I'm going to get hay fever. So it's kind it's... of an undertone. Exactly, oh, exactly. Nice. So it makes you feel very bright and very luxurious. 
<laughs> because that is the whole point of Chanel yeah, perfumes. Yeah. We're, we're there to make you smell luxurious. Ooh. Like I've got money. Yeah. Oh, do you have money? <laughs> I don't. My bank account said no, but you know, I do love it. <laughs> so, what kind of person will suit this? Set? This one, I'm gonna say age group probably twenty to thirties. But if 40s to 50s used it, that would make them feel so much more younger. Ooh. Smell younger, look younger, feel younger. <laughs> By the way, she's come out of Chanel. She's not still working there. Yeah, but... I'm not working there anymore. I've got a new job coming, but yes. Ooh. So what kind of season? What season would suit this? This one's spring, summer. Spring, summer. Yes, definitely. Because if you wore it in the winter, it would feel quite cold. Winter, autumn, more of this. Oh, so that's but... more like warm, mm -hmm, a bit cozy. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. But like I said, if you like the contrast, go for it. It's completely up to you guys. So these two are the Chanel mm -hmm. perfumes. Then my hands are shaking. Yeah, you, you are shaking. Stop. <laughs> and finally, what perfume do you use currently? Okay, so the perfume I'm using right now is Jo Malone's Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne. As you can see, it's basically nearly empty. I've had it for a year and this one, I have bought two bottles because it's very like citrus um, smell because it's got nectarine in it. But obviously because of like the blossom and honey, it sweetens it down. Is the honey gourmand or is it like a sticky sweet or is it smooth? Smooth, oh. definitely smooth. So is it like a citrusy, but then it goes sweet, but it has a nice blend. Yes, exactly, exactly. Would you like to try a bit? Oh, yeah, I have perfume on, but I'll try it here. It's okay. <laughs> I just thought you had the thing. <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> she what the, oh, it's does, really it's good. It's so <laughs> good, guys. Like, oh my God. I think it's actually like beautiful. It's very, is it? Basically, Jo Malone, most this their feminine fragrances are mm -hmm. mostly unisex, I think. Yeah. Jo Malone, yeah. like, it's, I buy a lot of Jo Malone, was it the female fragrances? Because uh -huh. they're so smooth and nice. And exactly. Like she said, the opening is quite really fresh, it's mm -hmm. fruity, but then it's, it's kind of balanced out with the honey, and the honey's not too strong. So exactly. if you don't like overly sweet or sticky mm -hmm. kind of honey scents, I think this is a great one. Yeah. But Jo Malone, it kind of has a, it's longevity is not the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very true. Because so, it is cologne. Mm -hmm. Cologne is like the most watered down yeah. perfume. But that's probably why I use so much as well, because I have to spray so much. However, I would say like, I'm a really bubbly person. Mm -hmm. I just love, I just smile all the time <laughs> and laugh all the time. <laughs> and I think this really suits my personality. Mm. It just, it smells like me and I feel more confident. It's quite sensual, I think. Yeah, it is. Mm. There's many smells to it. That's I, why I would it's actually so, love my yeah. girlfriend to wear this. If I had mm -hmm. one, yeah. I don't have one, by the way. And it's not me. Unfortunate. <laughs> Stop. You? So, what mm -hmm. type of person would this scent suit? Like I said, bubbly people. Bubbly people. Smiley, happy. So Woo! a bit like you. Yeah, it's literally me. Because she's really, she's literally just like this. Like, even behind the camera, she's like this. I think I'm worse behind the camera. That is true. So yeah. we can't actually put it on camera, but yeah. she is <laughs> very bubbly. She's uh -huh. very friendly. Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm a little bit shy right now. Yeah, I, th I think what actually, yeah, it really suits you. Mm -hmm. Very good smell. Oh, <laughs> Stop smelling it. What pattern do you use? Sorry, I never asked. I uh, right now I use Killian Moonlight in Heaven a lot because oh, it's fruity okay. at the start. Uh -huh. It has the fruits at the start, mm -hmm. but it has a bit of mango, but it's not overly oh, sweet. It's got coconut, nice. which makes it a bit creamy. Mm -hmm. But then because of the musk, it's it's not too overpowering. Yeah. So it's close to the skin scent, but I've been complimented a lot. And yeah. every time I go out for a drink, everyone said, "Oh, I have a good scent," and that's Killian Moonlight in Heaven. I'm a guy who knows his perfumes. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that though. I'm joking. I she have. She did. I have. She I said have. it yesterday. I, I did. But you know what? Because because Jay is also like a very manly guy. Like you, you have the manly features, right? But if you use this, I think that'll be a really nice juxtaposition. Oh. I think you just just feel so much more soft. Also, oh, they'll be like, yeah. oh, like when I walk in, because I normally walk around like this. Yeah, exactly. And if I come in, people are gonna think, oh. What's this smell? And yeah. they'll be like, oh, he's quite sexy as well. Yeah. Uh, I don't need um, this. 
Because when you look at someone, you're gonna you kind of guess what smell they'll have. Yeah, yeah that's true. But if you had a different smell to that, they would be like, oh wow, it's like a different side of you. So it would be great. Actually, it would actually be really great on a date night. I think. Date night, yeah. Because exactly. it's not that too strong. You have mm -hmm. to go close to them. Yeah. To smell it, and obviously yeah. you know what happens. Yeah, after you get that. intimate, you know. Start. Yeah. That's such a great mm. scent. I, I love that scent actually. Yeah, exactly. So I'll make sure I get her a bottle next time, and that's her promise. I am expecting it very soon. Okay, so this was all three of her uh, perfumes uh -huh. she recommended today. I think this is a great perfume. Obviously, these two are well known, and I think this is known by a lot of people, but yeah, I haven't seen too many reviews on this, but I think I really do recommend this. Definitely, definitely. It's very good. I think on a date night, it's great. Mm -hmm. But what season do you think we'll see? Summer. Summer. It's all about summer. It's so I think, I think you can get a nice summer fling with this. I think you could get away with autumn as well. <laughs> autumn, yes, yes. With that long coat, I think uh -huh. it will suit that. But oh, do you know what? I used to, so I spray this like in all four seasons, but when you spray oh. it in winter, it leaves a really like cold smell. Mm. And that part is quite sexy. It is. It's quite yeah, cold it. and it's like, like mysterious, shall I say. Maybe we should all wear this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe we'll have a girlfriend. Yeah. By the way, I don't work at Joe Malone. <laughs> she doesn't work at Joe Malone. It's she... like I'm doing like a, like an advertisement yeah. or something. She's getting she's a job soon. Mm -hmm. She got a job. I'm starting in September. Where? I'm working as a design in the bags and accessories team at COS. Woo! Woo! Head office. Very exciting. So that was everything for today. Already? <laughs> wow, that's so So great. well, that was everything today and thank you so much, uh, mm -hmm. Mira, for coming on the Chelsea Sets. Yeah. And this is her own YouTube. So what's your YouTube about? My YouTube is just vlogging. It's quite boring, but if you like my personality, you will like my vlogs too. Yeah, and this is her Insta. <laughs> Please follow me. She might be a bit different, <laughs> but don't say anything on that. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Bit of Photoshop, yes. but just a little bit. <laughs> and can you tell the viewers to like, subscribe and notification on, please? Please, guys, like, subscribe, put the noties on, put the comments down. Not the comments, I'm quite scared of comments. What do you mean? <laughs> like, Jay's a great guy and I just like really want his channel to expand. It's going to be amazing for you. Well, mm -hmm. thank you so much. No problem. This was Jay from London. And Mira. And this was Chelsea Sense. Bye. Thank you. Bye. That's how that was. Oh, do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that.